Let's uh, swing it on over now to Molly Seidel with the man who uh, hires all these wonderful Notre Dame coaches. Molly? Thanks, Vic. I'm joined now by Notre Dame Vice President and James E. Rohr, Director of Athletics, Jack Swarbrick. Jack, welcome to the fight. Molly, it is great to see you. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. It's, uh, it's good to be back under the dome. Uh, well, we love having you back here. They had me set up here, so I'm sort of look like a mouseketeer. I've got these <laughs> two speakers as ears going on here. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure about this. I think you look fantastic. But, oh, uh, thank you. You're too kind. Yeah, Jack, we're really excited to have you on tonight. And uh, first, I want to ask, what makes our Notre Dame student athlete experience so distinct in college athletics? Well, I, I, I think it starts with how much it's integrated into the university as a whole. The athletic department doesn't run independent of the university, but rather fully integrated, represents the same values, the same educational mission. And so it starts with that commitment to make sure our students who are athletes have as comparable experience as possible to all other students at the university. And then from that, it's the commitment to do three things, to maximize each student's growth athletically, to maximize their growth academically, and to maximize their growth personally. And I think that's what distinguishes Notre Dame. Some other places will maximize your growth athletically. A smaller number will do athletically and academically, and a very small number will do all three. And that's what distinguishes us. Yeah, that's awesome, Jack. Yeah, I can't agree with you more. Um, I think it's really a special experience that we have here as, as student athletes. And, and I can appreciate it so much now that I have, uh, I've moved on from, from Notre Dame and South Bend. And it's really fun getting well, to come back and experience it again. Well, well, moving on is really an interesting part of the journey here because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in my kitchen on March 2nd, undoubtedly stealing food, food from the refrigerator again when I shouldn't be. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm watching an Olympic trials on television, I say, that looks like Molly. And, and sure enough, it was. And for the next hour, I didn't leave the screen watching, watching you with that remarkable run, your first ever marathon, and you finished second in the Olympic trials. Mm -hmm. So, okay, first of all, why the decision to compete in the marathon? And how did you prepare to be so successful in your first run? Uh, yeah, I would have to say the decision to do it, it really came about. I'd been getting in some good training. My coach and I decided, you know, the Olympic trials only comes around every four years. It was going to be a bit of a, a leap of faith going for the marathon. But I don't know. I kind of just had to trust in what I was doing, trust in the strong foundation that I had. And at some point, you just have to realize, like, okay, just got to be brave and go for it. Well, you went for it and then followed it up with a great performance in London. I think you finished sixth, if I'm not mistaken, in, 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 in a major, in, among a major international field. So uh, how are you feeling about Tokyo? I'm, I'm really excited. More than anything, I'm just so grateful that I get the opportunity to, to represent my country at the highest level. I think it's every athlete's dream to, to get to have that kind of opportunity. So I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that, uh, that everything will go ahead as planned and, and just preparing as best I can in the next couple, couple months. Well, you'll, you'll represent the country spectacularly because you represented Notre Dame spectacularly well, three-time national champion, a real leader among student athletes. But, but, but frankly, one of the things I, I admire most about you and I admire so much based on the time we got to spend together is your journey wasn't an easy one. And, and you've been more than willing to talk about the challenges of that journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that every, every person's journey, whether it's through sports, through life, is going to have ups and downs. And, and more than anything, it's how you kind of deal with the, the challenges and how you be able to move on from them. So I'm really grateful that one of the things I learned during my time at Notre Dame is how to, to overcome obstacles, to how to take the punches as they come and then be able to dust yourself off a little bit and, and get right back into it. Who, who were the people that helped you uh, 
develop that resolve and succeed. I would have to say so many of the people that I interacted with um, helped me learn to be not only a better athlete, but a better person overall. Um, my, my coach, Matt Sparks, who's the, still the head coach of um, the Notre Dame track and cross country team, is still someone I'm incredibly close to. He's still, uh, we went for a run this morning, and uh, it's, it's been really cool getting to, to share these successes with, um, with the various people that helped me because uh, they were there during the really tough times, and now it's really fun to get to, to share the good times with them. Now, I, I'm, I may be wrong in this, but I don't think so. But uh, as I remember, your athletic prowess extended to skiing. Um, <laughs> and you were a really great young skier. Can I assume that skiing's out now that uh, you qualified for the Olympic marathon? Uh, actually, surprisingly, no. Um, I, I was skiing in the lead up to the Olympic trials, and I, I plan on doing it this winter when I'm out in Flagstaff. So just don't tell my current coach. <laughs> oh, man, be careful, okay? Well, yeah. Molly, it's been great visiting with you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jack, it's been so great getting to catch up with you, and we really appreciate you joining us tonight on The Fight. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs> 